Just like a car needs gas to get from point A to point B, every time a transaction takes place on any blockchain, gas fees have to be paid. Every lawyer, layer one blockchain has what they call a native token. This is a token in which gas fees are paid. For instance, if you are on the Ethereum layer one blockchain, then gas fees are paid in Ether. If you're on the Binance blockchain, then gas is paid in BNB. During the transition period of Debtbox switching to its own layer one blockchain called DebtChain, Debtbox exists as a layer two project on the Binance layer one blockchain. So this next step is showing you how to put BNB in your wallet to provide gas you will need to power your transactions inside of your wallet. For the moment, make sure you have at least $10 or more in your wallet. That's $10 or more of BNB. There's usually a minimum of how much you can purchase. So if you have to buy 30, it's fine. Eventually you will use it. I will show you three different methods for accomplishing this. Just choose one. Method one is going to be using a SafePal D app. A D app is a third party app that connects to SafePal via API. And it's great if you already have some USDT in your wallet or can send USDT to your wallet for using method one. Method two is you're going to use a site called Changely to swap crypto from another wallet for BNB and send to a wallet you are trying to put gas in. So if you already have some crypto in another wallet and you just want to change that crypto into BNB and send it to the SafePal wallet, uh, this is uh, method two would be a way that you would do that. And then next we have method three. Uh, and then that is going to be using Changely to actually buy BNB with a debit or credit card and send to the wallet in which you want to put the gas in, in this case, your SafePal wallet. If you're new to crypto, method three is probably going to be the one you will choose. Enjoy, and I'll see you.